Yeah, it was a hero's welcome of sorts with players, coaches arriving just outside of Husky Stadium to a handful of fans cheering them on. On a rainy day, the only rain on top of mind is purple rain coming back to campus. The University of Washington football team arrived at Husky Stadium around 2.45 Tuesday afternoon. Good night, baby. Less than 24 hours after a thrilling Sugar Bowl win. Star quarterback Michael Penix Jr. seen getting off the bus with some new hardware, the MVP trophy from the game. It's been a wild ride for him and this team heading to the national championship. With a couple fans showing their appreciation, congratulating the dogs on their historic season. It was crazy. I got uh, uh, to dap up some of the football players to walk by, congratulate them. Uh, I saw Roma Dunze, that was probably the, the best moment for me because uh, since I got, since I started working here, uh, he's just been a big name around here. So it was um, great to actually finally meet him because I have uh, a big poster of him on my front door. Meanwhile, Husky fans at nearby University Bookstore are still chomping at the bit, ready to bow down and talk about Monday night's dog fights. I'm glad I put deodorant on before it started. We were on, our, on the edge of our seat the whole time. It was, it was a tough game to watch, but it was, it was a fun game to watch, very engaging. She was just one of hundreds of shoppers packing the store Tuesday afternoon, eager to buy anything purple and gold to represent this school uh, for a national championship in less than a week. We're shopping for some gear for the boys. Um, they go to preschool here at UW and they were really excited for the win um, and they needed some more purple colored clothes. <laughs> And officials with the University Bookstores say last month's sales were record breaking, the most since when the dogs were headed to the 2019 Rose Bowl. For now, live in Seattle, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.